and this puts Varun up to get against Charlie here in what is winner's semifinals. I, I personally was kind of surprised to see Void drop to losers. You know, not early because it is an invitational, right? It's not like it's just off the bat he's in losers. But uh, Void going down to losers, like winner's round two is, is still kind of surprising. Or sorry, winner's round one. Um, yeah. But in any case, we are getting off to uh, to start of this set on Final Destination while with a double parry on the uh, soccer ball from Charlie to start off. So, based off what I know about this matchup from these two characters, uh, Weave Fit Trainer is going to get comboed heavily and uh, isn't going to be as strong at the ledge because Wolf not only has good hitboxes to contest the ledge camping that they normally do, but uh, yeah, he also has that reflector too to deal with the, uh, the soccer ball and uh, Sudden Salutation as well. I like, even though Deep Breathing is active, Vern is having a very, very hard time just getting onto ledge because Wolf's options in the neutral game and in advantage state are so much stronger. Speaking of stronger, that back air going to come out and take the first stock. And while the percents aren't looking too far nice. apart, you have to look at the big difference Although Varun actually closing it up really quickly with that quick uh, Trump back air. Fantastic yeah. play from him with the deep breathing active and now getting caught on ledge again. But hopefully for him, he'll be able to make it off soon. This has been the story already. We're only like a minute in. But Varun has spent like maybe two seconds total on the actual stage. The rest of it's just been completely under Charlie's control. Yeah, very, very rough. And that's like typical what you're going to see versus a Wii Fit in this type of matchup. Really just has to capitalize on the edge guards when they can. And uh, if they can't get a combo starter, especially the deep breathing is going to hurt a lot. But I think Charlie is playing around that very, very well. As you can see, the up smash has shield very quick. Uh, yeah, Varun definitely going to have to capitalize whenever he, it's an uh, advantage there. Almost has something started, but nice punish. Charlie getting greedy for the up smash. Almost gets the snipe on the wolf flash off stage. That would have been really good for Varun. And this is the best position he's had so far. Has some stage yeah. control here too, but there's the drop shield on that, man. Charlie's not afraid to throw out the up smash. It's such a good move. So and, uh, the, the thing that I'm seeing that I really, really like from Charlie right now is he's choosing his battles. Um, Varun uh, specifically, but we fit in general with deep breathing active is a massive threat, especially at center stage and especially when they have stage control. So what Charlie's doing is anytime deep breathing is active, he's like, okay, I don't want to play this game anymore. And he just kind of gives a lot of space and waits for that deep breathing to run out. And then once it runs out, he comes back in and goes off. But while that win condition is active, he's playing the non-interaction game. And it's very, very good to see because for real, that is Wii Fit's win condition. Yeah, and again, just Wolfis has all the tools to just avoid that situation too. He has a great reflector, he has a projectile, like amazing aerial drift. So he doesn't have to just run into Wii Fit's hitboxes when she's going red like that. And uh, yeah, like you said, Charlie recognizes that. So that's why he's like maintaining this, this lead right here. Move for the down smash, but a good spot dodge from Varun, trying to get the uh, soccer ball to get into advantage, but Charlie just sending it away, looking for that narrow stage. Tech, Fantastic bro. tech, oh. and the side B back to stage. Is that going to be it? No, Varun just barely oh. living. Charlie <laughs> looking for the all or nothing off stage. Not going to be able to connect with that up B, but it was so very close. What a way to finish the game if that had hit. Varun though, 124, 140% right now, uh, especially compared to Charlie Zero. This is going to be a very, very tough situation to get back in. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice F tilt, man. Charlie recognizing when you're at high percent like that, your ledge invincibility lasts for almost like less than a second sometimes. Like you can't hang on the ledge at all. So he just saw that he was completely open. Use that F tilt, covers the ledge perfectly, and he's going to take that first game pretty solidly, honestly. Uh, yeah. Rune have that one really good edge guard on the first stock, but uh, outside of that, <laughs> here's Charlie here's the had complete control. Here's the thing that you have to think about in this situation is the fact that Varun's only big kill of that entire game was an edge guard at 80 with a uh, with a deep breathing back air. That is not good. The fact that uh, Charlie's other death was an SD going for a flashy kill off the edge and Varun's one big kill was an up the ledge trump back air. And again, he killed at 70. Varun is not in a great position right now because Charlie was doing such a good job of shutting down and even not just shutting down, but removing all of Varun's options, both in neutral and in advantage state. If Varun wants to be able to win this, we'll have to be able to figure out a way to get past Char not just Charlie's advantage state, but also his zoning game, because that's the big spot where Varun was suffering is whenever um, whenever deep breathing was active, Varun couldn't get in. Um, and that's what caused like one kill that whole game. 
Yeah, I, if you look at Charlie not. as a as a player, even in offline, he doesn't fight a lot of Wii Fit trainers. Like we only have one, and that's Rockstar Ace, specifically here in SoCal from the Inland Empire area. So Charlie's expertise against this character is kind of like I want to see how Varun moves around me, and then I'll test the waters. Because even though Charlie is grinding like Wi-Fi, he's playing Elite Smash. When he fights an actual Wii Fit in bracket, it's a little bit different because every Wii Fit is a little bit different. But Charlie's also very smart. He knows he was watching Varun and he was analyzing him even when he was in the bench. So to come for him to come out to this next stage is not a big surprise for him to even still be comfortable against a character that would benefit, especially in Kalos. Yeah. I, sure. I, I would like actually to... love this counter pick for Varun right now. Like he needs any type of stage variance that can help him play his game easier uh, that he can take. Because playing on like a Two neutral stage against Charlie is a little bit too easy for him to play around Wii Fit. So I, I like this counterfeit. Also, the uh, side platforms are really going to help his ledge game a lot. He'll have a lot more mix ups to how he can uh, play at the ledge. It won't be as easy for Charlie to edge guard him. I love that blast, too. He's been consistently just ref uh, not only shooting a hitbox out, but like reflecting the soccer ball with the, the blaster like that. It's pretty cool. But and Wow, Maroon off to a much, much better start catching that uh, deep breathing back air at ledge. Going to take the first stock of this game and Charlie looking a little bit shakier than he did on FD. Definitely, like you mentioned, a fantastic counter pick coming out of Varun. Um, and I, I wonder, oh wow, but that's going to be the stock right there. Charlie with the side B to convert right at center stage, sending Varun to the top blast zone. Fantastic play and we're back to pretty much even. Well, yeah, Charlie just needs an opening. You can definitely get a heavy combo, but uh, Varun's playing around that really, really well. I love the traps with the soccer ball, too. Almost getting another one. Uh, th th I really like this play right now for Varun. This is what I want to see from the, the best beat the trainer. Like, it's such a strange way to get out of disadvantage when you're not only having to fight with aerials, you also have to dodge the soccer ball as well. It's uh, really interesting to see. I mentioned that like, okay, Charlie doesn't play Wii Fit Trainers very often, and he's definitely playing the matchup very well. Um, but again, not playing Wii Fit Trainers very often into going up against the best Wii Fit Trainer, it's not the easiest conversion to make. Um, and Charlie doing a good job, but Varun on his own counter pick is making it, making it very clear that he's not going to go down after just one bad game. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to like call it quits for Charlie here, but like he does have a Lucina in his pocket. He does have a Meta Knight. He's even gone Bale before. Charlie has a plethora of characters he can definitely start to consider if this game does not turn out well, especially on the Stalker. But he's doing an excellent job on the edge guard, specifically knowing that Varun is going to have to make that load recovery after the soccer ball and then take things from there with a nice neutral air. It's not a stock here, but he's put 91% onto Varun. It's up to Charlie to figure out, okay, how am I going to get my feet on the ground? Because that back air is sending him farther from the stage. Speaking oh, of 91%, Charlie going to take 92 off of that one grab from Varun. Ooh. And wow, using the stalker ball at the ledge to prevent Charlie from uh, getting away with a neutral getup. So that stalker ball was so very smart because not only did it cover the neutral getup, but the F tilt at ledge also, or sorry, not the F tilt, uh, but the, the move at ledge also covered roll away and neutral getup. The only way Charlie could have gotten yeah. out of that was to jump. And I don't even think that I, I'm 99% sure that the soccer ball would have hit his leg even on jump. Yeah. Ruin's also smart too because he recognizes that if he attacks the soccer ball with any of his normals, the hitbox itself is extended from uh, hitting the soccer ball too. So it's just a really strong move already, but then it's active even longer. So uh, he's covered uh, so many options, especially in the deep breathing too. Yeah, uh, if you look at like specifically any character in general in Smash, like if you look at Diddy, you look at Link, having a projectile or an item at ledge is super scary because it covers the ledge automatically and you have to worry about like, okay, he can actually cover my role. He can cover my getup. It's more of a like, how does Charlie want to die rather than how does Charlie come back on the stage here? But going back to Kalos, I mean, it's all up to Charlie. He's, he, he's sticking with the wolf, which I totally respect because it's more of a confidence pick. But like I said, he That's, does have other plethora. Of so I'm not going to, I'm not going to question Charlie sticking to wolf for sure. It's definitely like, I, I would say in my opinion, his best character, but yeah. I do question sticking to uh, Kalos because yeah. Even if you have the confidence of a top player like Charlie does, going back to the stage that you got too stocked on is usually not recommendable. Um, yeah. Especially with how well he played on a stage like FD, going to a stage like maybe Yoshi's, or going to a stage, just literally anything that's not Kalos, is probably what most people would recommend in this situation. But Charlie, of course, a fantastic player coming back to ledge with that upbeat and looking to finish the stock with this back air. 
Groon, though, catching the soccer ball with his own sun salutation. Not going to be able to get the kill, but what oh, is no. not going to kill is that up smash. Charlie trying to find this kill, but Varun oh. edging his way back in. Wow, the soccer ball actually helped him live a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter. He's chasing him all the way in the blast zone with the wolf swipe. I love that forward at in the so deep off stage. But uh, I think with Charlie's uh, mentality going out of this stage is he's uh, just really confident he can work with the momentum if he gets the first stock. But uh, yeah, speaking of that, <laughs> Varun <laughs> immediately evening things up. Right yeah, back really to good read on the match out to get the to get the fair up uh, and into the blast zone. Varun doing a really good job of just controlling Charlie's, like you mentioned, momentum. Because Charlie the King is an extremely momentum-based player. Once he gets going, he cannot be stopped. And so what Varun is doing here is such a, like a masterclass, not just how to play against Wolf, but how to play against Charlie specifically. Because as soon as Charlie gets something going, Vern immediately refrags with the same amount of damage or even a kill. And it's just yes. doing such a fantastic job of not just stopping Charlie's actual game, but Charlie's mental game. Ooh. Dude, this yeah. pressure from Varun is insane, man. Off the stage, on the stage, it doesn't matter where Charlie's trying to go. He's getting hit so much. But doesn't get the sweet spot back there. He's going to try to chase him off stage here, maybe? Oh, I do like that. Nair. Oh, oh, Nair, yeah. Really good coverage there. Oh, Last thing oh, Fox. Heck. That was oh, an excellent man. DI. If you guys can actually focus on that one situationally, like, he DI'd towards the stage so he can actually get the tech on the wall. That was very smart from coming up from Varun. Like you said last, specifically here for Varun's game plan is to kind of stop Charlie from adapting while also continuously having that strong mental game because that time he spent off stage was literally the reason why Charlie lost that stock and we're sitting here at even stocks. That's the crazy thing about Charlie too. He has his own personal coach. He analyzes his opponents, but he always still analyzes himself. Charlie getting these, uh, this up air dash attack in, trying to stop Varun on the ledge, but Varun coming back to stage with a parry soccer ball, trying to catch Charlie, lacking on the uh, roll get up, but the jab too is not going to connect. Varun was probably looking for some early percent off of the, the mash out reads that we've been seeing a couple of times on those jabs so far. Getting caught by Nia there, but both are going to trade sent in opposite directions. Charlie connecting with a back air, but it's not quite going to be enough to do anything substantial yet. Varun coming back in with the down tilt, getting grabbed for his troubles. Charlie fiending at the ledge for these back air kills. Might be going for the down smash at ledge, but it's not going to do much. Varun trying to close this out now before Charlie gets another opportunity. This is so close. It can go either way. The next big read will be the stock here. Both these guys are playing so carefully. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't go for one, the one one piece here. Nice. Max range F tilt. He's trying to pull him in the corner here. Varun, nice use of the soccer ball. He's just commanding so much space with this projectile right now. Charlie's going to go for the back throw? Not They're enough. Not kill. It's definitely what? not going to be enough with the DI from Varun. Varun, like you mentioned, commanding space with the soccer ball, but Charlie doing the same using the laser. Both of them doing such a good job of keeping the other from getting too confident in the neutral game, just using their projective, uh, projectiles. But the one thing that I actually haven't seen from Varun so much is uh, consultations. So I wonder if that'll come out as a last ditch effort. But what is going to be the last ditch effort is the neutral get up into grab into back throw. That was a fantastic read from Varun at the leg, and it's going to capitalize, closing out the game and going up 2 0 in the set. Wow, so yeah. good. So, he so read good. Charlie. He read Charlie right there in that situation because that, that's what Charlie likes to do. He knows that you know what, Varun is at the high percent. I took the game last time when I got the forward tilt, so all I gotta do is rinse and repeat here. But this time, Varun, he kind of gave Charlie the slip of him in that situation. I definitely want to say MVP for Varun here was his ability to just capitalize off soccer ball. But like I said, the big, big thing here for Varun was that time that he had Charlie off stage. I don't know about you guys back at home. Either these guys have like a gigabit or they have fiber internet because this does not look like an online match at all. It definitely plays like an offline one. Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm just really excited to see that they're representing so hard right now, especially with uh, Varun with the Wii Fit. There's, there's just not that many people that are playing at this level with this character. So it's like we're seeing uh, the matchup kind of like play out for the first time at like, a top level room, even though it's online, of course. Across like Wi-Fi and offline, I think there are like maybe two or three like top level Wii Fits. There's obviously Varun, but there's like uh, So Good Pop and there's Nine Super Pie, who are like some fantastic Wi-Fi players. But you're seeing Varun just absolutely uh, tear apart Charlie DeKing's gameplay here. Uh, and we saw at game one, like Charlie two stock or uh, almost two stocked him, uh, except for that uh, unfortunate SD looking for the flashy kill off stage. And then Varun just comes back in, picks Kalos. And I think this is not just like a, uh, 
uh, counterpick from Brune, it's like a mentality counterpick because he's got Charlie like trapped between either A, admitting he was wrong to stick to Kalos, or B, being stuck on the stage that's bad for him, and Charlie's just sticking to the Kalos pick as his own counter. Yeah, I also yeah. think he just really likes the wall for recoveries too. Like they're both yeah. kind of using the wall text, but I think especially Charlie wants to keep trying to use it too. Yeah, you saw it from the room last time. He specifically DI towards the wall so he can actually get the wall tech in that situation when he got spiked. That was excellent play for Varun. And Norcal definitely showing up with that forward tilt from Varun. This is the reason why Varun and Louis Money here are literally sitting still on the winner's side. So Norcal definitely goes to show that they have some strong hitters here, but the back throw finally is the equalizer between these two and Charlie looking to find an opportunity here around the neutral with that forward air. Yeah, it's super exciting to see the best in SoCal and best in NorCal find each other like this in the finals. Like, the rivalry has like, always been strong like in almost every Smash game. Yeah, this, this is no not finals, my friend. This is winner semis. Right, yeah. right. Semi-finals. Because right. the other side of semis is also uh, Larry and Louie Money. Yeah, we've got some... It, it was a West Coast Invitational, but as most people did expect, it's mostly just come down to Cali at this point. Yeah. Okay, great pressure here from Varun. Again, just controlling so much to the left side of this stage. Charlie just trying to get a substantial combo. Nice mix up on the recovery as well. Oh, double fair here, triple fair. Ooh, oh, nice, and he reads. Yeah, he reads where this man is trying to land. He knows he's fighting for that center stage landing and quickly with the reversal, Varun puts Charlie on the left side again. Oh. I don't know if Varun is a lefty because he keeps putting Charlie at those situations on the left side of the stage. Finally having a small break. I like the blaster. He's forcing Varun to pick an option there. And does this give Charlie some time to kind of come back a little bit on the stage? Unfortunately, on the right side. But here, Charlie, you can see he's looking for an opportunity. Unfortunately, after the jump, he does get punished. I know that Charlie is looking for that tech scenario here. Flash. And he finally finds the first option. Last, he gets the Wolf Flash. Yeah, so I'm Wolf Flash coming out, that's, the, that's the second like time we've seen Wolf Flash come out from Charlie to King. Um, on this stage in that exact same situation and it's going to bring him back into the lead you know ever so slightly but in a match this close 30 percent extra credit before your opponent manages to take the stock is actually pretty big especially when we saw it come down to last stock last hit in game three i'm i'm very interested to see if charlie can take us to game five using that you know just ever so minuscule amount of extra credit but still meaningful yeah he's like trying to fight for what little lead he has right here but if rune is just so quick to fight back. He's never truly safe. Like, you never know when he's just gonna come back with a super strong weak combo like this. Oh, again, I like yeah. the soccer ball used to just keep trapping the landing. It's just so tricky to get in when uh, you're trying to get out of disadvantage with this character right now. No, no sweet spot back there either. That was excellent for throw too, because he was looking for that situation specifically against Rune, missed down smash. That's what I like about Charlie. He's oh, optimizing his throws. Well, as so they say that, man, that is going to be the F tilt, and that is Varun 3 1 over Charlie. Ladies and gentlemen, NorCal definitely comes out to show some of their stuff, pushing out SoCal's number one player into the loser side of bracket, leaving Larry and Louis Money coming up next on the stream. Uh, Strides, how did how did you feel that went down, man? I mean, he, he just played much better after getting pretty much two stock the first game. Uh, I think it really what happened was uh, the big stage actually made it so that he was able to utilize the soccer ball way, way more in neutral. Uh, after, compared to the first game anyway, like he wasn't really able to get any setups like that or really like mix up Charlie's approaches or landing with that move on FD. But once he had more space, he was just utilizing that so much better. Um, he also just played much cleaner too. Like he had way better combos. Like he wasn't playing as scared in neutral. It, it was just really good for him. And last, you pointed it out too, one of Charlie's possibly 